You believe in the moon? Cringe? I know, right? Imagine believing in the moon. I can finally go take on this gym. Weird is so memorable. The next time you engage in conversation with the person, the more likely to remember your previous conversations helps foster a feeling to know a person. I guess that's also a way of going about it. I just akin it to, like, if someone thinks they're you're weird, um, but, like, in a non-threatening way, they'll, they'll just, uh, they're more likely to open up to you because they don't think, you know, you're trying to get something out of them. Because usually weird people aren't trying to get something out of you. They're just weird. But in order to stand against the mindset of others, you need to question, understand yourselves. How would you like it if someone approached you if they have a quick chat? Yeah, I don't like talking to people unless they're a good talker. Then I love talking to them. Like, if someone uses these techniques on me, I love it. Because they're going to talk about my favorite subject, which is myself. That's one of the reasons I like I enjoy streaming. Because it's just a whole bunch of people who want to talk to me about me. You know? You know, you know? Do, 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 do. Top 10 ways to be likable. I should make that as one of my new commercials. How to be a likable person. I have been likable down to a science. Of course, there's some people who still just don't like me anyway. Well, those are usually because they don't like uh, me for like specific reasons. If it's just someone who just met me, chances are they'll have a favorable opinion of me, even if they don't actively like me, unless they have a preconceived bias. Like, what if, for example, in the content creator sphere, they know that I make top 10 videos and they hate top 10 videos. It's going to be very hard. I'm going to be working like an uphill battle trying to get them to like me because they already have a preconceived like notion of dislike on me. We crave for the new ads. I need to make a new ad. I made most of those ads like when I was not sad. I haven't really made any new ones ever since I started being sad all the time. God, this takes me back. This game is so much fun. How the f*** do I get over here? You go over the weirdness and be off, but yeah, I know, that's what I said. Like, you you have to have like a non-threatening kind of weird. Usually it's just enough to be like a nerd. But just as long as you don't go overboard with the nerd. Like, nobody likes it when someone who's really into a hobby that just talks about it incessantly and never says anything else. But also, people do like it when someone is really into a subject. There's like a fine balance to it. Like, to the point where I just don't really talk about my hobbies outside of very vague, superficial ways. Like, I'm, I'll tell people I'm into World of Warcraft, but I won't go into the specifics about what I do. Because no one cares. It's just there to establish that, you know, I like this nerdy game. Or, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. <laughs> I'm stuck. How do I get past here? I got past here no problem last time. Um... Hmm... Pet battles and Pokemon? Exactly. I have a question. What is your favorite song? I think my favorite song at the moment is, uh is Takenashi Kiara's Fever Night, because I listen to it so much. Or Ayande Rusi's, uh... Oh, shit, I don't know, I have to look at my iPod. Children's Puzzle, by the way. I did this Children's Puzzle last time, no problem. Can't you just push the right panel? How do I push the right panel? I'm stuck. This is too much for me. Honestly, if someone I wanted to know something about me, rather they just ask direct questions instead of being around the bush. No, it's not about, like, beating around the bush. It's about having a small talk conversation. Like, if you do it correctly, it doesn't feel like you're beating around the bush. It feels like you're just having a conversation. There's a difference. Naturally learning things through an actual conversation is not the same thing as just beating around the bush. I did it! I got through! Now what do I do? <gasps> I can come over here. You can push that one. I didn't know I could push it! Why didn't anybody tell me? I always have to restrain myself and talk about politics on the first date. That one really puts people <laughs> Or you could just never talk about politics. I remember once, the most f interesting conversations I've ever had with someone about politics was with this one girl who we shared absolutely nothing in common when it came to political opinions. We had like the complete opposite ideologies on everything. And the reason they were such fun conversations was because we both took each other in good faith. And um, she was very intelligent. But for the most pe part, I don't trust people to be mature enough to have a good faith conversation about it. So I just ignore it. Don't talk about it. Don't bring it up. That is uh, definitely a no-no when it comes to conversations. In fact, it's, it's a huge tailing sign of someone who has poor social skills if they bring it up like immediately in a conversation. The Mormon? Yeah, she was Mormon. That's why we had such uh, different political opinions, but she was super smart. I have nothing but respect for her and her opinions. Having a religious conversation is the most tiring. Um, if the person you're talking to is smart and you're both talking in good faith, it's really not that bad either. Like, a lot of my, um, high school friends are Mormons, and I'm not religious at all. And, like, I have nothing but good conversations with them.
because we both take each other in good faith. However, I have one friend who's like super like crazy about his real religion. He's annoying. So it all depends on the people. Like annoying people are annoying. Surprise. Let's go. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Are my Pokemon at full health? <laughs> I saved before. So my Pokemon aren't at full health and I forgot. I can just quit out because we technically didn't battle. Oh, I'm so scared. You're about to challenge leader Maylene. Meditate, go Naren MP. Oyo Logs, thanks for all the cool content. Thank you, Oztuck, for the resub. Okay, I'm at full health. I was too afraid to check. I don't want to look. Use air cutter. Didn't you say I'm a physical attacker? <laughs> it's super effective. <laughs> what about Fire Blast Gyarados? Shut up. Is about to send up Machoke. Keep battling. One down. Holy sh A one shot. Okay. Wing attack. Come on, one shot this Machoke. No! It's super effective. Use Foresight. Oh, thank God. He's stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Now you're gonna get a winged attack. <gasps> okay. What if he has revenge? Then I'm. Ah. Okay. Next up, Narup MP. You're you're my MVP. Naren is about to send out Lucario. Uh, I'm gonna keep battling. I'm I'm going. I think I might be able to do this if I just one shot this Lucario. Now for the big one. This is the one I was scared of. The other two are nothing. Oh, f ah. it's level 30. Oh, I thought 30 would be just high enough to out-level this ah. piece of Oh no, it's not super effective. Metal Claw. <gasps> I'm gonna confuse Ray. Did it hit? Became confused. Oh, thank God. It worked. Good, Used you. Force Palm. Don't Force Palm me. It's not very effective. It's paralyzed and unable to move. Ah. Oh. Use Air Cutter? Why Air Cutter? It gets a boost from Metal Claw. You're in crit range. Do you have Paralyze? I do have Paralyze Heal, but I have to heal him up like normally too. V crits you with Metal Claw, you die. I think I should just swap to Gyarados. I think this is probably better. You lose speed being Paralyzed. Yeah. Does swapping out remove Paralyze? I don't think it does. I think I have to heal it up. Intimidate lowers his attack. Is confused? He's confused! Drain Punch. I forgot I, I inflicted a condition on him. <gasps> I might be able to do this. Should I use Twister too? Twister, it like lasts multiple moves, right? I'm here, finally, let's go. Yeah, Ame, you better not screw this up. Dragon Rage? Really, does Dragon Rage hurt? Dragon Rage, Twister's like 30, I know, but Twister lasts for a few turns, right? Is Dragon Rage really, does, is he weak to Dragon? Dragon Rage is a guaranteed to hit 40, but like the other ones hit for a lot too. Label conditions that normally go away, the Pokemon switches out. Fuck okay. You. You fucking Dragon dick. Rage. Ooh, that hit pretty hard. Don't restore with a fucking citrus berry. Hurt itself in confusion. Yeah. Good job, Golbat. Oh my god, Golbat, you're so good. I uh, love you, Golbat. Golbat, you're my new main. You I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna love you forever. Oh. <laughs> you did it. Good job, Ame. You're not useless. Ame Simon gained 300 experience. Has defeated leader Maylene. Oh my god, I was so scared for that fight. I shall admit defeat. Man, Golbat was so f ah. MVP. That confuse was was clutch. Okay, you win. That was a tough loss. I learned a lot from it. Please accept this gym badge. Whew. I was leveling all stream for this. I should explain about that badge. If you have the official Pokemon League badge, you can use the hidden move fly outside of battle. Oh, and please take this as well. Obtained TM60. Uh, that TM contains the move Drain Punch, uh, that move inflicts damage, and it robs the target's HP. Okay. Awesome. Woo. I beat the- I- dude, praising Golbat so much, I'm surprised it hasn't become a Crobot. Dude, Golbat, you- you got this! Golbat, you won this for me! Hi, Red, please, come help me. I dropped my Pokédex by accident, and Team Galactic found it. Now they won't give it back. Please help. I'll be waiting in front of the warehouse. Please come. Okay. My Golbat. He won that for me. Oh my god, I'm so glad I decided to level up my Golbat, and I didn't just go in there with Gyarados. Gyarados helped, but Golbat was MVP. Getting that Confuse off, and also the other stuff. Wait, Gray TV followed? Gray, you're the person from Tina's stream. That's how I know him. <laughs> Gray VT? Oh, it's VT! That stands for, like, Twitch.tv, right? Gray Twitch.tv, TTV, Twitch.tv. 
Hi, Gray. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I know Gray from Tina's stream. I wish. Wait, why are you over here? Don't you only watch female VTubers? <gasps> I can't believe my dude, my wonderful guy, who's holding the XP share down. Uh, I guess I can give it off to someone else. Wait, are you not a cute female spider? Psh, I wish. All I want in life is to become a cute female spider. Female optional. Defrost, recover from poison, recover from sleep, recover from paralysis. Here, we'll give it to recover from a paralysis. And then we'll give the EXP share to that man, because apparently that man is good, because he can learn psychic eventually. You're cute, Mr. Logs? No, I'm not. The reason I specifically chose a spider is because it's ugly. That way, if you ever see me IRL, you can only be um, pleasantly surprised. It's like, well, I thought you were an ugly spider. Instead, you're just like a mid-human. Below average human, I should say. That's uh, that's an improvement over a, a horrible, ugly spider. Maid time, here you go. No, I don't want to work. You have to work. You're the cutest moon spider I know. Shut up, Luli. Gassing me up won't do, won't get you nowhere. The Golbat is better than Gyarados? Right now, because Golbat knows better moves. United, our dream will come true. I'm not letting those bad people get away with these dirty deeds. No! My friendship ended with Gyarados. My new best friend, Golbat. Don't talk bad about me? I have never once talked bad about Ame in my life. All I ever say is, is positive things. All I ever do is, is gas Ame up. Did you know? One time. Cancel. Does Air Cutter hit multiple? <gasps> it does! It hits two! You're lying, Mr. Ludlock? Shut up. You're lewd. You, you made that video about anal beads. Ame fainted after this. Dude, Air Cutter hits two of them! Golbat, you're so good! I can't believe you have an AoE move, too. Oh my god, just level 31. He's my strongest Mon. Beam attack! <gasps> it's super effective. Has become to confused. Used to sing. Am I confused still? Golbat Gen 1 sprite is amazing. Is it? Is it cool? Air Cutter. Let's hit both of them again. Is confused. Used Air Cutter on both of them. Oh, I gotta turn on battle animations again. I forgot to turn them back on after I was done grinding. Change to Ame? No. Ame can't do sh** in a double battle. Ame is less than useless. Ame is the best? No. Ame is my second best Pokemon after Naranimp. Use Metronome, but there was no target. I know, I keep killing them. A tool used in summoning rituals? What are anal beads? Oh, um... Gosh, I don't know how to explain this. See, they're beads you put in your butt. Metronome! Astonish? Ooh, what is your ability to get from Retronome? Revenge? Go ahead and beat the Clefairy. I don't care. It's not my Clefairy. My MMA fighter. Go, Priplup. <gasps> you still have your starter? Cringe. The results speak for itself. Do you use anal beads? No, of course not. Also, that's sexual harassment. You can get banned for asking that. They are roped, though. You can get lost. Stay safe. Can I have some beads? No, shut up. You guys are a bunch of idiots. 